Hello guys, how are you? Uh, welcome. Um, this is a, a complete set of tutorials that uh, I am going to create for you. Um, and we are going to, to approach uh, all things uh, in Blender. Um, this is the first part. Uh, we are going to talk about the user interface. Um, but uh, this uh, set of tutorials will have lots of, of parts. Um, we are going to use Blender 2.90, which is the latest release of Blender. And uh, of course, you can download it from www.blender.com. Um, the first thing that uh, I want you to know is uh, one little thing is that you can always see which keys or which mouse buttons am I clicking on the left corner left bottom corner of, of the screen um, and let's start this tutorial so this is basically basically as I said before about the user interface and so let's start it the first thing that I want you to know is that uh, if you are using a shared computer, uh, Blender uh, interface can be uh, very, very is highly uh, customized. So, um, to make sure that we are seeing uh, the same thing, um, you need to load the factory settings. To do that, just click on the file menu, okay, defaults, and load factory settings. Okay, now uh, probably probably no. Now that's for sure that you have or you are seeing the same thing as I do. The first thing that um, I want you to know is where are the menus and uh, the workspaces, etc. So let's start with the most basic one. Over here on the top, this is the menu bar where you can open your file, save your files, import, export, etc. Uh, you have the edit menu where you can find undo's, etc. And preferences, this is a very important. Okay, you have the render menu where you can render your picture, etc. The window and the help. Okay, so this is the menu bar, it's easy. Next to the menu bar, on this side over here, Okay. you have the workspace tabs okay um, you can those workspaces that you are seeing um, are already created by default but uh, during this tutorial you are going to see that this is something that is highly customizable okay I will talk a little bit about them this one the first one is the basic layout where you can see the the default scene okay this one is prepared uh, for modeling where you have all the tools that you're going to need for modeling okay this is for sculpting you have all the tools for sculpting this is for uv editing texture painting shading where you can uh, give some textures to your scene animation rendering, compositing, and scripting. Besides that, you can always create your new one. Let's create, okay? If you, by mistake, close any one of these ones, you can always create it by clicking on the plus sign, general, <clears throat> I'm sorry, and select the one that you want. Or you can just, for example, duplicate content of the one that you have set on the screen okay to rename it you just click here and then rename my layout for example um, and now you have created a new layout which is basically the same as the first one but later during this tutorial I will explain to you how you customize this according to your needs you can customize this or this one or uh, any others but for this case, we are going to use my layout as an example. To switch uh, between the tabs, you can click, that's of course, or you can use the control key and the page up, okay, or page down. 
this part over here is the 3d viewport editor okay where you are <laughs> that is what you are using what you will gonna use most part of of the time i'm sorry sometimes about my english um over here you have the toolbar okay you can uh, hide it by pressing the t key and in this in the other side on the right side you have the sidebar you can change some settings here also okay press n the key to open it n for the sidebar and t for the toolbar okay on the bottom this is your timeline editor you are going to use it a lot if you are planning to use blender for animation okay um, and on this side over here this is called the outliner editor um, basically this this is a, um, um, a workspace that lists all the objects that you have on the scene you can select them okay you can hide them let me just activate some options here um, this is this works much similar as layers in, in an image editing program like Photoshop but here they are called collections okay you can group them in collections you can select them you can delete them you can hide them you can hide them on on the render there are lots of options that we are going to approach later during this tutorial and over here on on this editor this is called the property editor okay in this editor you can set the parameters for uh, you can set global parameters that uh, are global like uh, the, the render engine that you are using uh, the number of samples the resolution that you want to save your files etc 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 and you have contextual parameters that affects only the selected objects for example we can add modifiers we can add materials we can add anything that uh, is related to to your to your selected objects you can set it here okay um another thing that uh, i want you to to explain to you is that this is this these spaces these uh, divisions or that uh, separate uh, between workspaces are called areas okay and these areas okay are where we can place any editors okay so what are editors editors are those things that we are talking about like the 3d editor like uh, over here where you have your scenes your um, your collections these are called editors okay and uh, those editors will fill the areas in this case we have this 3d editor that is filling this area okay but um, we can always change that and that is um, in the beginning i have said to you that we are going to explore how you can customize your own layout and and uh, basically we are going to customize those areas okay to do that for example if you want to create um, a new area you just need to click here on the corner um, and let uh, the mouse button change to this cross and then you just need to drag and drop okay now we have created a new area similar to this one but for example uh, you maybe want to use it in this case for the 3d view and this case for the top view for example okay now we have one 3d view and one top view uh, and maybe you even want to create a new one drag and drop don't forget about that with the front view okay and now as you can see you have created uh, a completely different um, workspace uh, but you can always you want if you can always change the the type of of editor that you are going to use for example maybe i can see here 
the UV editor or the texture node editor uh, or uh, the 3D viewport and use this one to change for example over here maybe I don't want to see the outliner maybe I, to see, I want to see the file browser okay so uh, as you probably notice this is completely um, customizable which is uh, something that I think that is uh, great um, one little detail that I want you to know um, is that this is uh, only going to work uh, if you save uh, this this project um, and uh, you to use in this project uh, what does this mean um, this, this customization of this layout is not going to be present when you create a new one unless that you go to here file defaults and save startup file if you do that when you open a new file in blender this is his composition um, by default okay that's pretty much much it for the first tutorial um, I just want to show you another thing that I think is important if you want to revert uh, we have three workspaces here if you want to revert you need to click on the corner and push it up okay um, let me just explain you something I can revert this workspace to this one because they have the same sizes if I want to revert this one to the right side that's not possible that's because this workspace is uh, occupying the same size as the, those two ones so first you need to close these two and now that they have the same size you can close these ones okay another thing that uh, work if you want to split maybe you have some difficulties clicking here on the corner and waiting for the cross uh, I don't know some people uh, may have some trouble with that you can always click on the right click okay and change and select vertical or horizontal split Oops, okay vertical split or horizontal split okay um, that's pretty much it uh, this is the first part um, this is just for you to understand the basics of of the of the, the workspaces and of the interface um, if you like it please subscribe my channel I hope that I can see you during the next tutorial thanks a lot for watching